Hi folks, um, so for, for this video we are going to talk about um, two main other things that actually um, are left from um, our conversation about detail estimating and then wrap it up um, and then transition for later lectures to assembly and conceptual estimating and things of that nature. So, so with that said, um, let's take a look at what we've achieved so far and where we're at at this point and then where we're really going to go. So at the beginning of part two of our class, in fact for part one as well, um, our goal was to basically go through divisions, division by division, from excavation to concrete to masonry all the way to finishes. Uh, to provide a way of conducting detail estimating, correct? So these detail estimating sections, actually you have worked on them as part of your Billy C store assignments, um, plus some of the milestone uh, work that you have submitted so far has been actually of the same nature, right? Now, in the last two online uh, lectures, what we um, put our, our most effort on uh, was basically to find indirect costs. We call them general conditions, and we said that eventually what you really want to achieve is uh, direct costs, which is going to be uh, all the work um, that we do for detail estimating and some of the work that we're going to do today for subcontractor selection processes. And then the next thing we call that direct or general conditions or indirect costs. Um, so, so this was what we uh, started to do uh, in our last class. And we included things like salaries, um, and we did actually an, an assignment, maybe an ex example, in-class example for it. Um, so we have put together information about, um, you know, cost of management, cost of, um, you know, buying different temporary utilities, um, connexes, so forth and so on. We also had a way of including bonds, permits, and insurance to our work. And this was all the previous two lectures, correct? So right now, we actually collectively have focused on this. Now, let's actually take a step back and ask ourselves this question. What is left to do in order to have a complete package? Two main items, um, perhaps three main items are left uh, to do. One is that what if for some divisions and for some sections, we don't do detail estimating. What can substitute for that? And one thing that can potentially substitute for that is really specialty contractor work. So for example, for Billy C store, we did not work on plumbing systems as detail estimating. What, what we can do is that we can reach out to a plumbing subcontractor and then ask their quotation and they're, they're, they're going to give us a price that we include in our package. So that's something, that's an inherent part of any estimating package. Quite frankly, maybe most of the things that you do out in the real world is this guy right here. Not too hard, but something that we definitely need to do. So we're, for today's class, we're going to mainly focus on this guy right here. We're going to focus on looking at the selection processes of specialty contractors. Um, the second thing that we need to achieve uh, that we haven't talked about yet is to how to incorporate our home office cost. If you remember, we said that general conditions cost, you're going to have field uh, general conditions cost, something that we covered here before. You're going to have home office costs, and then you're going to also have your own profit. So there are three items under the indirect cost umbrella. We also call that collectively gross profit, if you guys remember. So once this is done, now we need to establish the markup table, something that uh, we introduced in previous lectures, and now we are going to find how tangibly we can put that together. And don't get me wrong, everything that we're going to practice here um, through Billy C store, 
you are going to see one more time for your CAT bus project. I'm asking you to repeat this process for your semester project. So make sure that you understand, watch this video and you understand what's going on. So once this is done, um, knowing that one and two have already been taken care of, we're done. This is our complete estimating package that we're looking at. So we're close to that finish line then. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna stop this video right here. This is just an introduction to tell you what's going on. Then I'm gonna pick it up uh, from a subcontractor's quotation. We're gonna look at different quotations that um, I supply. And then for each of those quotations, we are going to look at what's included, what's excluded, how do we make them, how do we compare to different quotations from two different subcontractors, how do we compare a quote that we receive from a subcontractor to our numbers and our work and things of that nature. So, so with that said, that's going to be a standalone video that I'm going to work on for Billy C store and then later on in a subsequent video we're going to only talk about home office costs how do we take care of those costs and then try to put together a complete sound and well-prepared package